Okay, let's talk about uh, multiplicity of roots. Uh, this is an investigation I'd like you guys to do on your own uh, in the asynchronous lesson assignment for today. I will include a link to Desmos, which will give you access to the two graphs I've already included. Uh, I would like you to save those uh, under uh, the name multiplicity uh, or some other term you could say investigating structure, anything that's going to help you remember that this, uh, these, the graph was what helped you investigate uh, this concept. So the graph of f of x or y equals two times the quantity x subtract three times x subtract five times x subtract four raised to the second power is already input. Uh, actually, it might just be power of one on the uh, uh, last binomial, but uh, you can change that quickly with the keypad. So you know from the last lesson that in factored form, if you have that equation, you can tell that three, five, and four are the roots of the function. They are the x-intercepts, uh, the values of x that make each of those quantities zero or the whole equation zero. Uh, it's a degree four polynomial as it's written. And you can see at the bottom, uh, this power of two indicates that this root of four uh, or these factors show up twice. So these two equations, these two functions are equivalent. This uh, lower one is written in factor, sorry, in expanded form and uh, it's shorter notation. So if you follow these steps, it's asking you what if the other factors, what if one of the other factors was squared? What if it wasn't x subtract four that was squared? What if it was x subtract five? What was x subtract three? Well, I want you to write up something and let me know what happened when you uh, squared those other factors. What did you notice? What did uh, the graph look like locally at that root? If you were to circle just that part around that root, what did the graph look like? Also, uh, experiment by graphing functions with the same factors as f, but where the factors have different powers. So uh, I've also included in uh, Desmos uh, a little reminder that if we don't have a power, then it's really just the power of one. So the power of the factors is the multiplicity for uh, those roots. And the multiplicity and the number of roots gives you some information as to the degree to, uh, of the degree of the polynomial. So I know this is one, two, three, four, degree four. This is degree four, which is one plus one plus two. The multiplicity is two, even though I have only one factor, or I'm sorry, one root. Four only shows up as a root once, but it's got a multiplicity of two. One plus one plus two is four. One plus one plus one plus one is four. You guys will figure this out. It's a great pattern. Uh, if you want to explore it further, change uh, the multiplicity to three. What happens locally at that root when the multiplicity is three? Uh, you change the multiplicity to four, it's going to look slightly different, but it's not going to be that much different than a multiplicity of two in terms of its appearance. So I would prefer you just stick with one, two, and three. That's going to give you the information you need to distinguish. Uh, uh, well, actually, it will give you the information you need to be able to graph or sketch the graph of a function, a polynomial function quite easily. Okay, that's it. Enjoy. And we'll talk about this more on Monday.